Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education. So today we are going with unit 6 in a biscuit factory. So let's begin. A biscuit is so crispy and tasty. We all love biscuits. We get different type of biscuits in sh shops. They come in colorful packets. They are made in a factory. But how are biscuits made in a factory? Let's find out. So, the first step. Get a recipe. Then, get the ingredients, things that go in a biscuit. Next, decide how much of each to use. Weight each ingredient. Next, mix the things and make a dough. Next, knead the dough. Next, Roll out the dough. Next, cut out the dough into biscuits shape. Next, bake the dough shapes in an oven. Next, cool the ready biscuits. Next, see if the biscuits are done or baked properly. Next, pack the biscuits into packets. Then, store and sell the packets okay so here it ends uh, then exercise came things to do first guess the meaning of this word factory second is recipe second is ingredients and last is dough exercise 2 a flow chart shows how something is done, the different step and the order in which they are carried out. Look at the flow chart on page 10 and 11 that shows how biscuits are made in a factory. Make a similar flow chart in your net notebook. Write each step in a separate box. Join the boxes in the correct order. Okay, so next exercise, that is third one. Prepare a simple flow chart with three to five steps for any task of your choice. For example, drink, drinking milk. So here the example is given. Take a glass of or cup, pour milk in it, add sugar, stir it with a spoon, drink up, wash the glass. Next exercise, that is fourth one. Given below is a recipe of making naan khatai at home. Read it carefully and make a list of all the ingredients or the things that go into a naan khatai. First, shift together uh, one cup maida, that is fine wheat flour, three to four tablespoon beans, gram flour and 1 4 teaspoon baking soda second step mix half a cup of melted ghee and one cup of powdered sugar well to make a smooth paste next step now add the flour mixture to this paste little by little and make a dough next step knead the dough gently Next step, leave it for 1 to 2 hours. Next step, make small balls from the dough and flatten them. Next step, arrange the dough shapes on a bake baking tray. Next step, bake the dough shapes in a hot oven for about 15 minutes till they become light brown. Next step, let the naan khatai cool for some time. And the last step, store the naan khatai in a jar with a tight lid. Okay, so here is the last exercise, that is fifth one. Collect a few wrappers of different kind of biscuits or cookies. Paste them in your scrapbook. Note and write the following below each wrapper. So this thing you have to write below the wrapper. 
फर्स्ट इज द नेम ऑफ द बिस्किट सेकेंड द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी दैट मेक्स इट थर्ड इज द डेट ऑफ पैकिंग और मैनुफैक्चरिंग नेक्स्ट इज यूज बाय डेट नेक्स्ट इज प्लेस वेदर द बिस्किट्स वर मेड नेक्स्ट इज द प्राइस ऑन द पैकेट एंड द लास्ट इज इनग्रीडियंट्स सो हियर इज द एंड ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स थैंक्स फॉर योर अटेंशन